The following presentation is brought to you by the University of Arkansas System, Division of Agriculture. Primary funding for this research was provided by the USGA. If you live and play golf where seasonal weather affects your outdoor activity, you're aware of the impact weather has on golf course availability. For courses located in the transition zone, a region suited best for neither cool nor warm season turf grasses, course supervisors are challenged to balance the opportunity for profits by staying open with closing down and taking necessary precautions to protect the turf from cold weather damage. Many of the golf courses in the transition zone are converting their creeping bent grass putting greens to ultra dwarf Bermuda grass turf. Ultra dwarf Bermuda grass turf generally requires less water and may require fewer inputs during the summer. But as ultra dwarfs move further north, there is increased risk in sustaining winter injury from direct low temperature exposure and tissue desiccation. Protective covers are commonly used during the winter to reduce exposure to extremely cold temperatures. Covering greens can be costly and labor intensive. The current USGA recommendation is to place covers when forecasted low temperatures are predicted to reach 25 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Lowering this recommended temperature could result in fewer covering events throughout the winter. If you can reduce the temperature when it becomes necessary to place covers in the winter, then that can potentially save labor hours for a golf course. On top of less labor, it can keep your course open for play more throughout the winter, and so that can have twice the impact on a budget by reducing labor but also increasing revenue. Another winter season turf challenge is the identification of a localized dry spot, or LDS. LDS is a common problem on sand-based putting greens and can lead to desiccation of the turf grass crown and even death of the plant. Wetting agents are commonly applied during the growing season to combat effects of LDS. What a wetting agent does is it reduces the surface tension on water and so it allows the water to infiltrate into the root zone easier than just regular water alone. Symptoms of LDS are easily recognized when turf is actively growing, but may not be apparent while the turf is dormant. But little information exists on the effects of a late fall, early winter wetting agent application on winter survival and spring greenup of ultra dwarf Bermuda grass. This research aims to quantify the effects of lowering the established recommended temperature for which covering ultra dwarf putting greens becomes necessary. The research also aims to investigate the effects of a late season wetting agent application on soil moisture and winter survival of ultra dwarf Bermuda grass. To conduct their study, the research team at the Arkansas Agricultural Research and Extension Center devised a strip split plot layout using three ultra dwarf Bermuda grass cultivars, Champion, Mini Verde, and Tiff Eagle. Each was cultivated on an adjacent four by 12 meter strip. During the winter, black two by 12 meter woven polypropylene covers were placed across designated strip plots at various forecast low temperature thresholds of 15, 18, 22, or 25 degrees Fahrenheit, along with an uncovered control. The covers were removed only on days when temperatures were predicted to rise above 45 degrees Fahrenheit. This was designed to mimic a golf course that would remove covers on warmer winter days to allow for play. Cover and cultivar plots were further split and designated for wetting agent treatment. In early December, a wetting agent was applied to dormant turf as time for the anticipated first covering event drew near. Data was collected for two variables of interest, soil volumetric water content 
and percentage of green turf grass coverage. The data for soil volumetric water content was collected using a Field Scout Spectrum TDR300 measuring probe with one and one half inch rods. The tines on our TDR were one and a half inches, so they weren't very deep, and that was where we were interested in seeing kind of what the moisture level was right closer to the surface as opposed to further down. This water content testing period began with the first plot covering in December and continued through spring green up. The percentage of green turf grass coverage data was collected using digital image analysis and took place during the spring green up period. The digital images were captured by using a camera mounted on top of a mobile light box, which would allow for even lighting distribution and consistent exposure. Digital images were captured between coverage periods throughout the green-up season. These light box samples from the gathered data show the spring green-up in progress. Each turf image is analyzed with a computer application which counts the number of green pixels in each picture. This information is used to quantify the percentage of green grass coverage within the frame. This graph compares the quantified coverage data collected for each cover temperature threshold. This comparison shows minimal difference between any of the covered plots, no matter the cover temperature. The uncovered control plots showed no green up during the data collection period. This image of the turf strip plots shows that the Mini Verde and Tiff Eagle cultivars achieved significantly greater spring greenup than Champion, regardless of what temperature was used to place cover treatments. Spring greenup and visual quality ratings were not significantly different between Mini Verde and Tiff Eagle. Plots receiving a late season wetting agent application had significantly greater green turf grass coverage at every date after the first observation date. The water content measurements taken for the duration of the testing period after application of the wetting agent showed no correlation to the green up results. The Mini Verde and Tiff Eagle cultivars experienced less winter injury than Champion. The use of protective covers enhanced spring greenup and recovery for all cultivars. The uncovered control plots did not survive the winter. Reducing the temperature threshold for covering led to fewer covering events and total number of days that greens were covered, without significant increases in winter injury. Fewer covering events suggests labor cost savings and more days open for play. A late season wetting agent improved spring green up. Initially, I thought we would be able to lower the temperature threshold a little bit, but I didn't think that we would see the results that we saw. Essentially, all four of the temperature thresholds looked similar in the spring. So even at 15 degrees, it was very comparable to the plots covered at 25. Maybe it's best to just keep covering at 25 degrees as an insurance policy, but of course that's pay to play and maybe can't afford to keep a big crew of people on to go out during the winter and place covers and remove them. Maybe they can lower that temperature and not see too many detrimental effects in the spring. For more information about this and other ongoing research programs and projects at the University of Arkansas Department of Horticulture, contact Dr. Wayne McKay. Primary funding for this research was provided by the USGA. Additional funding for this research was provided by a gift from the Arkansas Turfgrass Association and from the Arkansas Golf Course Superintendents Association.